All right, so right here you can see uh, we have a, sh a motion on here. We've got a seven-man run scheme. And now for teams that want to be aggressive and read the offset tight end, as we pull him around on our gap scheme, he fits down inside, and we were a little bit more aggressive here. He really should be reading flow. But because we've got one high, we're working inside fade route. Does a really good job with his details and technique, working vertical, bringing his defender to him, using his hands, hands win, feet win, and now you can create the best of all worlds. There's never a position, okay, or never a drop back pass uh, where you throw in the field and you have this good of a look, meaning you're controlling the safety's eyes with the run. You're also reading the safety's eyes and body position for the pass and everybody's stepping up. If you just called a drop back inside fade route and an under route, you'd have linebackers buzzing out, you'd have corners playing deep, you'd have safety playing deepest to short. So right there, we can be really aggressive from the offensive standpoint and take advantage, okay, of the safety backside having to read the run. And as you can tell here, this is not a drop back or play action pass. We are blocking for the run, in which we actually have a good position all right, to hand this ball off it, and the backside guy must now run over the top all right, as they're trying to run with this uh, backside tight end instead of flow him down. We were a little bit more aggressive as far as throwing this into man coverage, especially press coverage. Here's a good look of the same RPO. It's too high. All right, so now he's on his punk route. Same run scheme. Now in this situation, Conflict player is still 41 to the field in a two-high zone defense. He steps up. I would classify this as a greedy read, okay? This is very greedy. Yes, it's too high defense. You get good action for the linebacker stepping down, down inside. However, his body position is so far wide and not attacking the ball carrier, we should be handing this ball off. Now, in the greedy world, as we talked about and discussed earlier, if you're going to be greedy, you better guarantee me the throw. Quarterback does a good job here of understanding Okay, remember, we never throw over a conflict player. We throw to his inside, and now it's the receiver's responsibility to flatten his route and attack the football. So right here, we're still blocking the six, pulling our guard in this situation. We should be working a deuce back to 40. Our, our backside tight end is pulling around for 37 front side. So right there, and you can see, all right, as the boundary safety player, Okay, he's also still in conflict where he can't be so aggressive to run downhill and fit because of the effect of the RPO and how it neutralizes, okay, multiple defenders on every play and not just the conflict player. This guy is playing coverage. This guy is can't playing coverage. This guy is playing coverage. He's playing coverage, which now makes them weak in our seven-man run scheme here. All right, we're responsible for these seven here, all right, and we're controlling the eighth element of the defense.